The engine and APU fire protection systems are similar to those in other jet transports. The systems detect and extinguish fires in the engines and the APU. The engine fire protection system also detects overheat conditions. Both engines and the APU have dual loop fire detection systems. Dual loops in the engine also detect overheats. Each dual loop system is automatically tested at PowerUp and continuously monitored thereafter for faults. The fire and overheat detection systems can also be manually tested. Two fire bottles protect both engines. And one fire bottle protects the APU. The engine fire panel is located on the aisle stand. The engine fire switches shut down the engines and discharge the engine fire bottles. The switches are locked to the in position when no fire is detected. The locks are electrically operated. The engine bottle discharge lights indicate the condition of the engine fire bottles. The lights are extinguished when the fire bottles are fully charged. The system alerts the crew of a fire only if both detection loops detect a fire. In addition to the master warning light and fire bell, when an engine fire is detected, an ICAS warning message appears. A fire warning light illuminates on the center forward panel. Also notice the fire indications on the associated engine's fuel control switch and engine fire switch. The associated engine fire switch has unlocked. Move the left fuel control switch to cut off and pull the left engine fire switch. Continue. Pulling the engine fire switch accomplishes many things at once. Watch the results. The engine and spar fuel valves close, if not already closed, by the fuel control switch. The engine bleed air valves close. Additionally, the engine fire switch shuts off hydraulic fluid and depressurizes the engine driven pump. The engine generator field and breaker are tripped. Finally, pulling the engine fire switch arms the appropriate discharge squib on each engine fire bottle. If pulling the engine fire switch does not extinguish the fire, rotate the switch to the left or right and hold against the stop for one second. Rotating the left engine fire switch to the left discharges fire bottle number one.
When fire bottle 1 is discharged, the ICAS advisory message engine bottle 1 displays and the engine bottle 1 discharge light illuminates. If the fire is not out after 30 seconds, discharge the other fire bottle. When fire bottle 2 is discharged, the ICAS advisory message engine bottle 2 is displayed and the engine bottle 2 discharge light illuminates. The fire warning indications are removed when the fire condition no longer exists. The engine fire protection system also detects engine overheat conditions. The system alerts the crew of an overheat only if both detection loops detect an overheat. In addition to the master caution light, when an engine overheat is detected, an ICAS caution message appears. When the overheat condition no longer exists, the overheat indication is removed. Now let's look at the APU. The crew extinguishes APU fires from the APU fire panel. The APU fire switch shuts down the APU and discharges the APU fire bottle. The switch is locked in the in position when no fire is detected. The lock is electrically operated. The APU bottle discharge light indicates the condition of the APU fire bottle. The light is extinguished when the fire bottle is fully charged. With the APU running, the APU fire protection system alerts the crew of an APU fire only if both detection loops detect a fire. In addition to the master warning light and fire bell, when an APU fire is detected, the fire warning light illuminates, an ICAS warning message appears, and the APU automatically shuts down. The fire switch automatically unlocks. Pull the APU fire switch. Pulling the APU fire switch accomplishes the following. The APU fuel valve and APU bleed air valve close. The APU shuts down if the automatic shutdown has failed. The APU air inlet door closes. The generator breaker trips. Finally, pulling the APU fire switch arms the APU fire bottle. Discharge the fire bottle by rotating the switch. Hold the switch against the stop for one second. When the fire bottle is discharged, the ICAS advisory message, APU bottle is displayed and the APU bottle discharge light illuminates. When the fire is out, 
the fire warning indications are removed. When on the ground, an APU fire can be extinguished from the flight deck. or by using the fire controls on the nose gear panel. Remember, an APU fire will always cause an automatic shutdown of the APU. These controls and indicators are associated with the APU fire protection system. The extinguished APU bottle discharge light indicates that the APU fire bottle is fully charged. When an APU fire is detected, the APU fire warning horn sounds and the APU fire light illuminates. Push the APU fire shutdown switch. Pushing the APU fire shutdown switch silences the horn. Closes the APU fuel valve and trips the APU generator off. Closes the APU air supply valve and shuts down the APU. And arms the APU fire bottle. When the APU fire bottle is armed, the fire bottle armed light illuminates. Push the APU bottle discharge switch to extinguish the fire. Pushing the APU bottle discharge switch discharges the fire bottle. When the fire bottle is discharged, the APU fire bottle discharge light illuminates. When the fire is out, the warning indication is removed. Let's look at some non-normal situations in the fire protection system. Normally, the fire switches unlock if a fire is detected. However, if a fire switch fails to unlock, use the fire override switch. Pushing and holding the fire override switch unlocks the fire switch. While the override switch is held in, pull the fire switch. APU fire override switch operation is the same as shown here. Now, let's look at another non-normal situation. The dual loop detection systems are tested at power-up and continuously monitored thereafter for faults. If a detection loop fails, the system automatically configures itself to use the only remaining loop. To verify which detection loop has failed, push the status button on the ICAST control panel. In this example, loop 1 in the left engine has failed. If the other detection loop fails, the system fail light illuminates and the fire overheat system ICAS advisory message appears. Push the fire overheat system fail reset switch to reset the system. The left engine is now without fire detection. The remaining engine and the APU detection loops will continue to be monitored by the system.
The forward and aft cargo compartments are each equipped with a smoke detection unit containing two smoke detectors. Air in the cargo compartments is drawn through the detection units and analyzed by photoelectric smoke detectors. Both cargo compartments are protected from fires by three cargo fire bottles. When discharged, one bottle empties immediately. An immediate discharge of the two remaining bottles is automatically initiated 30 minutes later or upon touchdown. All fire bottle discharge squibs are automatically tested at power up each flight. The crew extinguishes fires from the cargo fire panel on the aft aisle stand. This is how the panel appears during pre flight. All warning lights are extinguished and the bottle discharge switch is off. Watch what happens when a cargo fire is detected. In addition to the master warning light and fire bell, when a cargo fire is detected, an ICAST warning message appears and the fire discrete light illuminates. The associated cargo fire warning light also illuminates. Push the aft cargo fire switch to arm the extinguishing system. The aft cargo fire switch accomplishes the following. First, it arms the aft squib on each fire bottle. Second, recirculation fans are shut down. Third, the air conditioning packs are inhibited from high flow operation providing the minimum airflow required for pressurization. And fourth, it closes the associated cargo compartment heat valve. This reduces airflow in and around the compartment, prevents additional air from feeding the fire, and reduces extinguishing agent leakage from the compartment. Use the cargo fire bottle discharge switch to discharge the fire bottles. Pushing and holding the cargo fire discharge switch for one second discharges bottle number one. The ICAS advisory message cargo bottle one displays as the bottle discharges. The discharge of the remaining two bottles is automatic, initiated 30 minutes later or upon touchdown to maintain the level of the fire extinguishing agent in the cargo compartment. The discharge from the two bottles is metered by the outlets in the cargo compartment. The ICAS advisory cargo bottle 2 appears for metered bottle discharge. Let's look at a fire in the forward cargo compartment. Arm the forward cargo fire extinguishing system. The forward squib on each fire bottle arms. Recirculation fans shut down. But unlike the aft system, the packs continue normal operation. Also, the associated cargo compartment heat valve is closed. 
discharge the fire bottle. The two remaining bottles are metered into the forward cargo compartment after 30 minutes or upon touchdown. The main gear wheel well contains a single loop fire detection system for each main gear. The wheel well fire detection system is continuously monitored for faults. The system can be tested manually with the wheel well fire overheat test switch. High brake temperatures alone will not activate the fire warnings. The system is designed to sense only the excessive temperatures associated with a fire. An actual fire in the wheel well creates temperatures high enough to activate the fire detection system. In addition to the master warning light and fire bell, when a wheel well fire is detected, the fire warning light and the wheel well fire light illuminate and a wheel well fire warning message appears. There is no extinguishing system provided for the wheel well. Instead, first observe the extend speed limit and then extend the landing gear. This attempts to extinguish the fire and to reduce temperatures in the wheel well. Extending the landing gear will also keep the gear away from the fire source if the wheel well is on fire. When the temperatures in the wheel well are below fire levels, the ICAS warning message is removed. Once extended, the gear should remain down and a landing made at the nearest suitable airport. If you must retract the gear for airplane performance, leave the gear extended for at least 20 minutes after the wheel well fire warning has extinguished. This ensures that the wheel well fire is extinguished. A single smoke detector is located in each lavatory. When smoke is detected, an oral alert sounds in the lavatory compartment and a light illuminates outside the lavatory. The lavatory fire extinguishing system consists of one heat-activated fire extinguishing bottle.